Hi, I'm Steve Johnston. Welcome to OnlineLessonVideos.com. That was my arrangement of Away in a Manger for solo acoustic guitar. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play, and uh, we're going to go ahead and break this lesson down. So why don't you go ahead and print your tabs out, and we will go ahead and get started. Okay, so for Away in a Manger, uh, like anything that you arrange for, for finger style or, or solo guitar, what you're doing is you're combining the melody or, or the, the singing part, the, the melody with the accompanying chords in a way that is, uh, you know, uh, possible to do with uh, the, the greatest ease. So I started this song off in the key of C and I toyed around with a few different key, keys, um, settled on the key of C and then about halfway through at measure uh, 19, it changes keys to the key of D. And that just kind of breaks it up a little bit. Instead of just playing it once and then playing it again in the same key, it kind of makes, uh, makes it a little bit more interesting, you know, to play and to the listener, I, I think so. Uh, so basically, we're going to start off on a C chord. And most of this song, you can play regular chords and um, if you concentrate on hitting the, the melody note, you'll hear, I'll show you what I mean. The first chord of the song is, is basically a C chord with the pinky added up here on the, on the first string. So, because that's the melody note of the song. And so, uh, your very first note in the very first measure is just a pickup note on, bar th on uh, beat three. And that would be the pinky because you, pr I, I already have the chord made, and then you just hit that note by itself. So then, when you get to measure two, which is where the song actually begins, you can, you have a few choices here. You can pick these notes separately, like this, or you can, if you want, you can just strum. Either way works. And I'll kind of do either or, you know, I don't play this exactly, exactly the same way every time. So for, for the first, for measure two of the song, if you want to pick them separately, now if you're doing finger style, you, you could use thumb and first. I'm using what's called hybrid picking, which I just kind of do out of habit to get a little more pro projection out of the notes for me. Um, I'm using thumb and finger usually either second finger or combinations to hit, you know, pluck strings. And when you do this, you pick just like you normally would pick a note, but you use your other fingers to just kind of, they just kind of pull in towards your palm. Now you can strum a lot of these chords if you want. So at the beginning of measure two, you have a full C chord that you're already holding down. When you look at the measure, it looks like a bunch of separate notes, but it's really all just a chord. Here's measured, here's uh, the, from the very beginning of the song. One, two, three. So if you notice, I'm holding the chord and then moving over to catch the one, but still basically holding the chord down. Now, one thing that's a little tricky is lifting this note off without getting this open note. That note in there. So you have to kind of carefully lift off that note. Measure three is still just a regular C chord. But you're bringing your, your pinky over to catch that three. So here's the first three measures. One, two. And again, if you want to strum these, works either way, as long as you make sure and accent that top note because you want to hear the melody. Going on to measure four, this is an F chord. Now, if you look at the chord chart, it's a full bar chord like this. And so, but what you see is the two ones.
kick separately. And then if you lift the bar off, you'll catch that open, that zero. And the two, the very last note of the fourth measure, that finger's already on. So that you, you're just, you're, again, you're just holding a chord. Now I play this a lot of times different. I, I use what's called a grip chord on an F, a bar chord, um, that was shown to me by uh, a good old friend of mine named Bob Hunty. And he showed me this technique when I was 15 years old and it served me well for many, many years. Instead of barring across, you put your thumb on the bass note, play the regular uh, third, pinky, second, and first. And if you want the top note, you can flatten your index finger out. So you can play it this way too. And again, with this chord, if you don't want to pluck the two ones separately, you can strum the chord which is what I do a lot of times. So that's measure four, the F chord. If you play the bar chord, you're just gonna lift the back part of your hand up. Or, then measure five goes back to a C chord. Now again, you can pluck these notes separately, the three and the zero. This is measure five, the C chord or you can strum across. If you want to just strum them.